Good morning, John. This week, I spent more than a few moments being frustrated that it was not the right time. Like putting my son to sleep an hour before he thinks it's his bedtime, which resulted in, of course, him sitting in the bed and saying, but dad, I'm not sleepy, which like, of course you're not. It was frustrating and no one liked it. And thus we began our biannual tradition of tweeting together about how we don't like that this thing happens. Can we please just stop changing the clock? And then the US Senate was like, Okay. Like all of them, a hundred percent of the Senate, Democrat and Republican and like whatever else we have now. They agreed, yes, this is silly and we don't like it and it makes us all very sleepy and you wouldn't like me when I'm sleepy. Now, this is not the full process of a bill becoming a law, but the unanimity does indicate that it might very well be a thing that actually happens. But John, something amazing happened the moment that a hundred percent of the Senate was like, yes, we agree on this. Suddenly, a lot of people were mad. The disagreement that I saw was of two kinds. The first and most common was of this sort. Oh, so the Senate can do things when they are easy and free, but they can't do things when they are contentious and complicated and expensive. What a terrible country. Look, I don't want to be mean about this, but I'm a little bit sleepy, so I'm not making great decisions. If the choice was between universal health care and not changing my clocks twice a year, I would take universal health care. But that's not the choice. The choice is should we do this easy and free thing that everyone wants us to do, or not. And if your response to bipartisan legislation that will make your life better is, I have nonetheless found a way to be angry about it, I think maybe the problem isn't in the Congress, it might be in your chair. And on to the second thing, which I was genuinely shocked by, because of course everyone agrees that we should stop changing the clocks. But there are two ways you can do it. You can stick with standard time, or you can stick with daylight time. And Congress wants to stick with daylight time. And there's a bunch of people who want to stick with standard time, and I'm like, oh my god, how have we found a way to argue you about this. Let's just make the change. Oh my god, no! But just for clarity, the change that the Senate just unanimously agreed on is keeping daylight savings time all year round, which means later sunrises and later sunsets. Here are two of the reasons people are mad. One, I don't want my kid waiting at the bus stop in the dark. They might get kidnapped or hit by a car. And number two, it's anti-science because the Society for Research on Biological Rhythms said that it would be better for people to have more light in the morning than have more light in the evening. I've looked at some of these papers and indeed it seems that there are some very small but detectable differences in the health outcomes of people who live on the far western portions of time zones where sunrises are later and sunsets are later. But there's also research showing that when there's later sunsets, kids get more exercise, there are fewer pedestrian fatalities because people drive around mostly after work rather than before work, and also maybe there's an effect on crime. But again, all three of those things, the effects are really small. And when you ask people, which might also be important, they say they would rather have the extra hour of daylight in the evening when they are more likely to, you know, like, use it. And thus, as with so much in our society, whether daylight savings time forever or daylight savings time never is the better solution, is unclear and complex. And I have decided to do a wildly controversial thing and not care at all about which way we go. Here's what I'll say, and I think that this is important. Perfect is subjective. It's different for every person. And so we are not going to get to perfect for everyone. We might get to perfect for you, but there will be people for whom this will be imperfect. But while perfect is subjective, in this case, for once, better is very clear. So let's stop the war on the clocks and just do whatever lawmakers will agree on. John, I'll see you on Tuesday.